Good morning, Taurus. How you doing? It's your girl, Root. Hope y'all doing fine. Hold on a second. Yeah, I hope y'all doing fine. So, um, this is your compatibility. We'll see what sign wants to be with you in a minute. And we're going to read a little bit about the Taurus. And then we'll read about your partner and uh, see if y'all compatible. Uh, Earth, your Earth sign. There are Earth signs. Um, fixed signs. Uh, collective or practical, stoic, determined, ambitious, materialistic. Taurus are famous for their stubbornness, but there's more to them than that. Ruled by the planet Venus, they share they share her traits of beauty, artistry, and love of luxury and comfort. So that's good to know. Uh, let's read a little bit about the female. Uh, she's dependable, patient, sensible, and reliable, while at the same time enjoying an unmatched level of sensitivity and humor. She dislikes and avoids risks and tends to be gentle and tolerant of others with a strong sense of honor and integrity. So, yeah, she ain't finna waste her money. She gonna get stuff, she gonna get it. Taurus man, y'all kind of, hmm, indulge a lot. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the next one. Toxic traits is a uh, comfortable sign in the zodiac, most comfortable sign, but their excessive need to splurge, splurge and overindulge can bring issues with finances or help. So, yeah, y'all have to know your blood type in order to know what you're supposed to be eating so you won't be eating the wrong things and uh, hurt yourself. And your financial thing, you know, mostly like I say, like mostly the men. You might find yourself being money hungry, materialistic, possessive, and stubborn to a fault. You want to have your cake and eat it too. Um, are you emotionally strong? Very strong people. They have an attractive sense of confidence and stability. Why they tend to be emotionally closed off and distrustful almost to the extent of being paranoid. If you earn the trust of Taurus, they will be the best friend or partner you could ever ask for. Uh, uh, do you hide your feelings? They aren't hopeless romantics. In fact, even if they love you, they will struggle in clearly conveying their, how they feel. They put up a tough front, hiding their emotions, but they really do care deeply about people. Y'all got to open up more. People just can't read your mind. Y'all can do that method telepathy, but people need to hear it out your mouth. Do Taurus go back to... Okay, now I'm going to do that. Uh, a Taurus flirts. Um, flirt style is predominantly physical, magnetic, and sweet. Taurus people have a sense, steadfast, down-to-earth, approach with everything in regards to flirting they will come across as passive until a competitor steps in so you can't be doing that play you don't care about the person until you see somebody coming at them then you come and charge like a bull at the person and the person didn't know you care at first they know you care but they just want to hear it come out your, see you come out your mouth and how you treat them so don't play all the mind games towards i know how y'all do Y'all good kisses. Y'all good in bed. We already know that about the Taurus. That's why everybody wants Taurus. Y'all know that. Y'all don't talk a lot. You know, y'all kind of to yourselves. Uh, you know, y'all will cry. Y the love of y'all life. Y'all got to let that person know how y'all feel. Play all them games. Everybody got time for that. Um, how do y'all show y'all love? Uh, Consistent and gentle touches. It may be subtile, but you will feel that the considers that he considers you more than just a friend. When a Taurus guy touches the woman he loves, it will be soft and gentle. It will make you feel safe and reassured. That's fantastic. Um, why do a Taurus distance himself? When he feels like things are going way too fast, he's going to distance himself as fast as he can. He's not a huge fan of change, so if you're the kind of person that wants to get serious and move in together before he's ready, he's not going to want to stick around. Nah. Okay. Uh, what is Tori's love language? Uh, physical touch. There's something so needed and romantic about being a really good, getting a really good hug. 
and just holding hands that you love and crave. You already can't keep your hands off your partner, but even more so thanks to your love language. You're very sensual and tactical zodiac sign. Uh, what Taurus needs from a lover. They love receiving flowers, letters, and even hearing flowering words. Someone sweet, romantic, intelligent, witty, and sensual is usually what is what a Taurus would go for. Lastly, Taurus has strong need for financial security. So if you're not secure, um, your finance, and you mess up your money, Taurus is going to wait a while and try to take you out. He's going to probably try to help you get organized. Um, what kind of gifts do you Taurus like? Sketch pads, color pencils, he's a creative type, luxurious flowers, lavish candles, imported wine, de deluxe chocolates, you know, nice stuff. What does a Taurus hate? Information on the dislikes of your zodiac sign. Get to know more of a Taurus dislikes on love, friends, public, and personal life. They hate anything fake fast foods, nagging partners, and anything that is cheap and easy on the purse. Okay, so they like to spend money on their stuff. Uh, what kind of person is a Taurus? Uh, we already read that. Uh, why are Taurus so emotionalist? They don't express their feelings until they trust you very, very much, but still don't expect them to be excessive like others. Taurus have a really very, excuse me y'all, sorry about that, very, I'm outside of my car. Very big heart for everyone. They don't express their feelings until they trust you very, very much, but still don't expect them to be expressive like others. Y'all need to know the Taurus love language and Taurus, you're going to have to open up more and let people know. Because uh, we out here having a human experience, okay? So if you want somebody and you want that person that's going to be that soulmate for that season, you need to open up. Um, a Venus and Taurus jealous. People born with Venus and Taurus are romantic and desire a fairy tale romance in their lives. They're often very positive and jealous and that causes problems in their love life. These are the main traits they should work on getting rid of. Yeah, like stalking and... <laughs> Judging and all that kind of stuff, Taurus, you have to be careful. Don't do that to the person, you know. Get to know them. Talk to them. You know, um, take people at their word. If they don't, then, you know, let them go. And, and if you don't talk to them, you don't know why they're not fulfilling what they said. If you don't talk, you know. So you don't know what kind of hurt a person is dealing with. Are you? Okay, so let's go and see what partner is for the Taurus. Who wants to be with the Taurus? Who doesn't want to be with the Taurus? Okay. Let's see. Okay. Oh, shoot. Can't take both on Taurus. I don't y'all. Cause, mm, no comment. <laughs> So, Aquarius, okay, the genius, okay, um, let's talk about the Aquarius, because they're totally different, Taurus, uh, they think out the box, okay, yes, yeah, they think out the box, and um, uh, they experiment a lot. They're the geniuses, so they might experiment sexual experiment on different things. Um, and they're kind of hard and kind of to themselves as well. And uh, emotions. So, Aquarius, you're gonna have to show more of your feelings in relationships. Okay, let's read a little bit. Assertive. Um. Not one for going with the flow. Aquarius make their own mind up and then stick to it. Analytical, or original, humanitarian, independent, easygoing. Y'all have, you know, they fun. They, they uh, people oriented, you know, uh, Taurus, Aquarius. 
uh, what type of person is Aquarius? People born on Aquarian sign are said to be progressive, independent, intelligent, unique, and real idealistic. They um, element sign is air, the same as that of a Gemini and a Libra. Like airs, Aquarians don't have a single clear shape and seem to define categorism. Hmm. Um, what are Aquarians good at? Aquarians are highly capable of many things. They are best suited for roles that require unconventional thinking. Aquarius embody many professional strengths, including critical thinking, social consciousness, and assertiveness. However, Aquarius personality has its drawbacks like other zodiacs. So yeah, they, they business tars, the zodiac is the one for you. Because they can bring y'all to billionaire status. Okay. But don't ignore the feelings, what they need. Neither one of y'all. You know, don't be so focused on the dollar bill that y'all forget about romancing each other and find out each other's love language. Like I said, go to www.astro.com, A-S-T-R-O. And pull, go to horoscope, put on the menu, go to natal charts, fill out all the information. It's best to know your birth certificate, know your date of birth. And uh, not put 12, 12, uh, noon, that's kind of accurate, 95% accurate. And study each other, and because it's more than just this sign, it's other signs on your chart, and there's other moons, it's the, the other planets. So your rising, your moon sign, your Mars, all of, all of them is important. And finding the type of person you are, your, uh, excuse me, your Chiron tells about childhood hurts and experiences which make you react today if you haven't healed yourself. And I advise y'all both to heal because Aquarius can be um, in the relationship but not in the relationship. So y'all have to be careful, Aquarius. And Taurus can sense, they can feel that. You know, y'all both is very suspicious and uh, curious, is curious type person. So y'all, y'all just have to really talk and know each other love language. Uh, let me see. Uh, good in bed. You ain't got to worry about none of that from Aquarius. Not all the time is all of them. Not all of them are clean people. They don't really care about the uh, the maintenance of everything, Taurus. They might get on your nerves. They might want, you might find yourself doing more of a cleaning and also with the kids. So, Aquarius, you have to you make sure they're educated, make sure they got clothes on them, they look good before it's being there. Mentally, Aquarius, sometimes, not everybody, have to know your, uh, of your birth chart and know of that person. Y'all not there for the kids like they need to. Y'all let a lot of things go and happen before y'all react. That's the one weakness is of uh, Aquarius. Uh, your strengths are uh, intelligent, intellectual, innovative, creative, friendly, alluring, humanitarian, social, reformative. Uh, re your weakness is rebellious, stiff, emotionally detached, irresponsible, impersonal, and wacky. So, yeah, y'all um, have to be there for y'all kids and mentally and, and, and physically. Well, you're there physically, but... You're so detached to, you let too many things go by. And you don't listen to your children and, and um, you know, and what's going on with them. That's a dangerous thing. Please uh, take care of the herd Aquarius. Because your Taurus is not going to, you know, you know, go for that. They'll like you in a whole lot of other ways. But, you know, both of y'all with the kids, Taurus, because, um, Y'all like y'all love to show off your children and, and materialize them also, but y'all gone about y'all business and ain't there to you know help with the studies or late at night or tucking them in and their hurts and what school problems or what happened in school or what happened in the neighborhood or what happened with the kids there or, or their opinion on y'all. Y'all don't too much like that, so just be careful, okay? Um, what makes the parents happy? 
uh, Koreans join bliss are essential in order to be happy. They despise rejection and it tends to throw them off, buffling, buffling them. The Koreans just want to approach life simple without conflict, stress, or demand. But you know that's not practical, Aquarius. Stuff happen. And y'all have to learn to deal with it. Y'all y'all just stay in stuff just too long and let stuff happen. I don't like that about Aquarius. I'm sorry, my opinion. But, you know, uh, the Taurus might do the same. I'm not sure. But my dad was a Taurus, so he kind of like was, you know, kind of bully. <laughs> but he loved to show off and had three jobs and was always going with the big people. And one of my mom, she was a Gemini, stay home. And, you know, he was critical of her. She had kids before they met. So, you know, if everything wasn't up to par when he came back, it was a problem. And then y'all Taurus, y'all listen to people too much. Y'all think y'all y'all friends. A family member, they really care, they really don't. Stop listening to other people and learn, learn to use your own mind and stuff. Um, are y'all Aquarius arrogant? Um, as much as self-assured, it's easy for others to mistake our trust in ourselves for arro arrogance when they don't understand us. Knowledge is the highest pursuit of the Aquarian and in, in inevitable, inevitable in sharing the knowledge we've acquired others might think of us as known it all know it all so Aquarius gonna always search knowledge and they know a lot Taurus so they're not trying to be smart or, or throw around what they know not saying you don't know a lot but you can learn from each other not being hypocritical you know learn from each other you know if that person likes to research and stuff what's wrong with that you know, if you like to do it, not so much, okay. If they find something and, and you don't know or whatever, and y'all can make it work, or, or just that person might be just the type of person they like to research and, and let people know what they find. That's nothing wrong with it. But anyway, like I say, know y'all love language, and um, this could work. Uh, I'm going to give it a thumbs up, but y'all have to really work on each other because there might be some fights in this. Uh, I hope not, but yeah, because uh, y'all both kind of like detached type people and stalkerish and all that kind of stuff. Although the Aquarius ain't gonna too much stalk you, but Taurus you will. So just don't experiment so much, Aquarius. All right, that's my opinion on y'all. Uh, work it out. Look at the love, uh, the birth chart and. Get to know each other and find out each other's love language. All right, y'all. Bye. Like, subscribe, share, uh, comment. I appreciate it. All right. Bye.